guys welcome back to my channel I'm getting right into your february 2022 love reading here let's see what comes out for my aries this month please note we are in a new moon in aquarius and i'm still hosting a ten dollar sale until february 6th Aries, let's see what comes out in love. So the new moon occurs um, with this energy, you may feel inspired to be cluttered here. You know, this energy is encouraging us to clear our minds. Aquarius is the inventor originals of the zodiac sign. Their energy is wanting to be free and doing so without sacrificing their independence. So your overall energy in regards to this month is the four. You have um, unlimited possibilities when it comes to love this month, Aries. As you can see in the background, you know, the full moon is showing up here you have um, endless possibilities why because the ace of pentacles is in reverse with your queen of swords energy aries queen of wands is here too um you could be angry about something over the past but it's like this month you're having a tired moment to realize to, to to where you're gonna realize or you could be realizing with this new moon energies and um being at two 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 <laughs> uh, you could see things balance out but the well of fortune is turning for you you can feel this energetic push of feeling kind of like defeated tired drained energy aries um that is slowly um kind of moving away here all right let's see the overall energy and love we have deception someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship so Oh, release your ex the time has come to clear your energy and express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture so aries you're kind of angry about a breakup relationship here you could have already broken up with this person but the month of february here you have to make a decision and like i said overall energy is the full so you have endless possibilities at the moment on what you want to do as long as you make the effort when it comes to love if you want love express that to the universe and you, you know it's going to be released to you but there's an x here that's hiding a mask that could be deceiving as you can see there's two queens on the board and there's a child with the page of swords actually two page of swords and the page of cups you can have a water sign or air sign child aries um this relationship did not work out an entire moment is happening to where it's like you're releasing your ex you want new love this could be an ex coming in to express their love after they um hid uh, themselves from you being a player here or just having another person involved um spirit is saying don't feel like this is a lost aries because your energy we have the queen of pentacles and the emperor energy in reverse emperor is your aries energy uh it's time to get your masculine energy back up actually masculine and um feminine energies take this new moon to focus on your stability what you want here your passions uh, for this month because you're putting a lot of your emotions on the situation. We have all these queens coming out with this queen of wands, three of wands, the high priestess in reverse, and the seven of pentacles. You could be feeling like you, you're you always choosing the wrong person as well, Aries. This person, this past person wants to work on things. They're kind of waiting on the right time to come in and manifest things, which is why the will of fortune is here. So they could just be watching you, trying to figure out how to win you over. I feel like you feel this, Aries, this person kind of watching you. For some, again, dishonesty, leaving you on the cold, just um, emotionally not opening up, you're done. Like, you're releasing this. I'm tired of it. The time has come to clear your energy. And it's like this ex isn't going to do so without, you know, trying to win you back over. Try to give you some type of truth to kind of gaslight the situation a little bit. They might do that. We have Twin Flame, Yin Yang, Zen, Balance, Union, Duality, Pumping Each Other, and the Butterfly here. So I'm getting once you release your ex, you could run back into your Twin Flame here. We have relationship like, evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. But that's what this, that's what the tire moment is kind of going to uh, be about. You kind of know that you could be slowly talking to your Twin Flame again this month, trying to just figure things out. You know, losing your independence for a while. You both are gaining that back. Yeah, your twin could be having a tired moment as well over a breakup over you. So you guys are both marrying each other this month. Clarify the will of fortune. Wanting a new beginning, wanting to manifest things. But again, hurt you, hurt your child. Emotionally here, you know, um, if they cheated, you know, things like that. Because we have the two queens here. Like they hurt you, you know, your child sees you sad. It's kind of like you want to keep putting yourself through that. It's too, it gets, it gets overwhelming. So Aries, please put yourself first, clear your energy here. If it's not just children, it's just you're tired of feeling sad, but it's like you have the power to manifest true love if you want it. It's right here. 
Ace of Cups and the Magician, New Beginnings here. Don't let this past weigh you down because that's what's happening with the Four of Wands and the Two of Pentacles here. Feeling overwhelmed. Gemini energy with the Lovers in Reverse here. With the Sun. Leo energy. Aries, it's kind of like you always feel like you're, when you get into relationships, they, they are hot and heavy, very passionate here. And it's like you're... You want love. So if you want love, you know, you have to hold back on your passionate side, your attraction side. Really listen to someone, really hear what they want, their values, their qualities here. Because that could be it too sometimes, you know. And that's all right. I mean, shit, we all do it. But um, it's kind of like you have to reevaluate what you want here. And that's why we have great love is worth the steps that you're guided to take here. You're definitely going through an awakening this month as well. You know, you're kind of getting out this hermit. Yeah, judgment in reverse. Getting out this hermit mode again. Spirit is going to force you to make a decision on what you want and love. Sorry, the Queen of Wands. Yeah. Because you're feeling stuck and angry all the time, feeling so heavy this month. It's, 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 it's definitely going to give. You're going to be blessed here. And, and it's going to happen at once you, you know, realize who is deceiving this month and then move forward. It could be within the next two weeks you might find something out. Anything else for my Aries? Any advice for the moon? Your, your dream, yeah, your dreams need a practical plan here. You can't just fantasize about things. You have to actually put things into action, right? Tangible results. Ten of Cups is all about fantasizing, you know, um, the, living in a fantasy world. Dreaming about your Ten of Cups is perfect life here. Ten of Pentacles is all about stability. All of the Ten of Pentacles is more than the Ten of Cups because you're actually making things practical. You're putting it in a plan. Again, fantasizing about love all you want, but taking actions to get there. All right, Aries, I'm going to leave it there, guys, and have a wonderful week.